Scriabin is known as a mystic. He was a Russian composer. He lived basically during the time of Rachmaninoff. In fact, he and Rachmaninoff were uh, students and friends their entire life. He came to New York, he tried to get his music played internationally, but he was a little far ahead of his time because he took the Wagnerian ideal, again, another um, spin-off from Wagner, and he pushed it into limits that no one else had. In fact, he thought that even the idea of writing in traditional harmony, you could actually paint colors for each uh, different key. And he uh, tried that in one of his tone poems. In this poem of ecstasy, it uh, is a interesting piece because it never resolves. It starts in the beginning and it seems to be one transitional section. It's melodic, but it's always going to the next thing. And um, the idea of mysticism with Scriabin, the titles that he gives his works, Divine Poem, Pi po Poem of Ecstasy, uh, Poem of Fire, Prometheus, always are taking some sort of point from literature or um, from his own sensuality that he tried to put in the music. If I had to describe Scriabin in the realm of great composers, I would have to say he would be uh, music's perfumist. His music is so ephemeral and so uh, has this sort of perfume quality. For instance, the opening of the poem of ecstasy is very celestial. It starts with few winds, tremolo strings, a harp, a solo violin. It's all very ethereal. The work from there gravitates out in every direction. And it's still these harmonies that you really can't put your finger on. As it gets larger, the brass instruments come, and it's always moving then to the next section. It's very romantic music. He was a tremendous romantic, and he was one of the big Russian innovators. He was a great, great pianist. He wrote many piano sonatas and works for the piano that are all played in the concert hall today. His orchestral music is much less played and um, deserves uh, to be re-examined, all of his symphonies. And it's an interesting composer to follow for the uh, lineage from Richard Wagner and for the future that it points for music.